And we are back with an update on fundraising for the victims in Allen. Yes, yeah, several accounts have popped up online requesting donations, but are they legit? Cheryl Mercedes shows us what to look for before you open your wallet. People close to the Allen Mall tragedy. I work right around here. And those just wanting to connect with them. I'm Laura Cahoon from uh, McKinney, Texas. Formed a united front at a memorial for the eight victims. Like many of the mourners, Laura Cahoon says she felt motivated to do something. There's a good uh, GoFundMe raising lots of money for the survivor, that little boy. The fundraiser for six-year-old William Cho is one of several GoFundMe accounts created to collect donations for people affected by the Allen Mall shooting. All of the crowdfunding sites have different policies in place. Monica Horton with the Better Business Bureau says some crowdfunding sites have become breeding grounds for swindlers. The crooks are good. They will use pictures and family names and post these uh, crowdfunding requests without family's permission. Crowdfunding scams have become so common, the BBB created a special section on its website with tips to consider before donating. They include give to individuals and organizations you know personally, avoid duplicate fundraising efforts, and read the fine print. The BBB also has an online tracker where you can look up existing scams. You need to take a step back, do your research, and make sure you are you know, donating money that's going to actually reach the victims that need it. Victims like William Cho, who lost his parents and a brother in this tragedy. Well, I don't think he's going to remember this, but you know, I know he'll hear about it as he grows up. In Allen, Cheryl Mercedes. Yeah, if you'd like to do something for the victims and their families, scan the QR code on your screen. The Communities Foundation of Texas says the money will be directed to legitimate local nonprofits, which are providing resources to the victims. In other